this question, this inquiry was not of Sanatana Goswami Pad. He asked this question on behalf of all living entity. So who am I? Jivena Sarupaya Nitta Krishna Das. The identification of soul is eternal servant of Supreme God. So why are you feeling these threefold miseries, suffering by threefold miseries in this world? We forget Krishna. We are not in good association, so we are suffering. What is that? What is those three, three torments or threefold miseries? Adhadmikta, Adibhautikta, Adidaivikta. So we have to know what is Adhadmik, what is Adidaivi, and what is Adibhautik. <coughs> Adidaivikta means misery is given by demigods. Just like sometimes too much rain over flood, sometimes earthquake. Just it happened in India only few months before in India. Very, very bad earthquake. It never happened in India or all even also. And too much sunshine, no rain at all. All these miseries caused by demigods. This is called Adi Doivi Tap. Adi Bhauti, sufferings by other living entity. Just like you are coming, some dog came out from his owner house, he bite you. Or a bull hit you. So it is by other living entities called Adi Bhauti. Adhadmik, you have all of so many opulence. And you can support so many persons. But you are suffering due to your uncontrolled mind. If you suffer due to your uncontrolled mind, this is called Adhadmikta. <coughs> so, who is not in good association? Who is not guidance or under guidance of a bona fide Gurudev? He or she or they bound to suffer by threefold miseries. So, if you want to overcome from these threefold miseries, so what we have to do? We have to know we are eternal servant of Supreme God. How we can know this? So we have to surrender ourselves the lotus feet of a bona fide Gurudev. How we can know who is bona fide Gurudev? So we have to be in good association. Where we may be, time to time, we shall meet together once a week, or once a fortnight, like this way, and we shall discuss each other. So by good association, we can understand who is bona fide Gurudev. We may think, so I told someone that you can give, when you are going here and there, you can give some class. Or you can think, oh, I am not so qualified. We know, in this world we are not qualified. Which we have heard from Gurudev and Vaishnavas, we shall convey this message only, nothing else. This is preaching. So, by this way, more people will come in this philosophy and they can be advanced in Krishna consciousness. So, in good association, we came to know his bona fide Gurudev. What is his symptom? So, we have to surrender the lotus feet of Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam has told, Tasmat Guru Prapadita Jigasu Sayuttamam Sabde Parichanisnatam Brahma Nupa Samasrayam. So we have to go to Gunapayat Gurudev. What is his symptom? And why we shall go to him? What we shall gain from him? We have to know all these things. Tasmat Guru Prapadita Jigasu Sayuttamam. Whoever incurred for his benefit. Super benefit. How I can be benefited? Not only benefit, eternal benefit. What will do? Go to Gurudev. Jigasu se uttamam. What is the symptom of a bona fide Gurudev? Sabde parecha nisnatam. 
he must be expert in all epics like four vedas ri sam jaju atarva and ramayan mahabharat especially smad bhagavatam if you have any doubt doubt means spiritually doubt he will remove your doubt immediate he is so expert so then we may think who is learned in this world we can go to him and adopt him or accept him as a bona fide guru there no there is other symptom also what parechan ismatam only if he is learned but he is not doing bhajan himself then he is not bona fide guru there he is doing bhajan himself and help others so what is other symptom parechan ismatam he must be realized about god if he has realization of, from for god then he is bona fide guru dev this is to internal symptom and there is another symptom external symptom what is that upasamasrayam he must be detached from material world in this world we are hankering for material thing if he hanker or if he run after those things that is not a bona fide guru dev so symptom of bona fide guru dev he must be expert in all epics and must be realized so means he is realization about god and detached from material world he is bona fide guru dev we have to go to him and have to surrender himself just like arjun surrendered in the lotus feet of krishna karise vachanam tava sishyasyam sadhimang tang prapannam o krishna sakhiti matta prasavam ja duktam i regard you like my sakha my like my friend so sometime i order you do this take my horse take my chariot in the middle of the both army sometime i ask you notice the horses sometime i ask you do this do that so i did offends please excuse me prasavam yaduktam sishyasyam sadivantam prapannam i am a disciple what will arrange for me what will ask me i shall ready to do that so similarly we have to surrender completely and what guru will order we have to carry out his order then we can advance in krishna consciousness just like guru dev told in beginning in his lecture take initiation for me bona fide guru dev is not sufficient we have to follow his order and follow his instruction then we can advance in krishna consciousness <coughs> so guru dev will order us we have to chant and we have to preach everything so if we chant holy name the holy name of bhagavan then we can advance very easily chanting holy name of krishna ajamil he liberated from this world as before he was a brahmin boy he had just wife and some kids and he had parents in this incident was in time of satya yuga so religion of satya yuga then meditation and fasting was etc etc she went to collect some firewood and he saw there one couple of locust with bad behavior he could not control his mind gradually gradually he gave up his house parents and chest wife and all kids and come to her and he attached with her so much he forget on everything his past house and from that prostitute he get he got eight children the last of all he kept his name narayan so when did come the three messengers of personification of death came to take him to hell but when he saw their very very furious appearance he became so fearful he shouted narayan narayan 
he not shouted for Bhagavan, he shouted for his son. But Bhagavan is so merciful, he is not fully, he is so costless merciful. He sent his four messengers. They came and asked the Chamdutas, oh, what are we doing? They told that there is no so bad activities which he has not done in his lifetime. So you want to take him to hell and we shall punish him there. Messengers of Narayan told, no, you are not qualified to take him to hell. Do you know what he uttered during his last breath? What? Narayan, he called out for his son only. They don't know. He, though he called out for his son, but in the name of Bhagavan, so he must, will, he must go to with us. We should not let you take him to hell. And Ajamil, sleeping on death bed, he was hearing all these things. Oh, I called for my son, but Bhagavan is so merciful. He sent his messengers. So at that time, his death stopped. And he wanted to touch that four messenger of, messengers of Narayan. And they disappeared from that place. Later on, when he came in, Sense again, hello, only I called for my son, then Bhagavan sent his messenger. So always I should chant Bhagavan's name. So he gave up, he gave up his house and came to Haridwar. And he do bhajan. At last, when he became perfect in his bhajan, again that four messengers of Narayan came and take him to Vaikuntha planet, the Najamil, humbly request them, I have an inquiry at first, please take away my doubt, then I shall go with you. When you came as before to save me, at that time I want to touch your lotus feet, you not allow me to touch heaven, but now you are talking with me and want to take me there. What is the cause? Then he, they replied that, you, at that time, only chant for your, call out for your son. Your bhajan was not perfect. Now, your bhajan is perfect, so now you are qualified to go to the planet. And these four messengers of Bhagavan, they guru of Ajamil. So when this dialogue was going on, after that, the three messengers of personification of death, they kicked out by these four messengers of Narayan. They went to Jamalok and they told Jam Maharaj, we don't want to be in your custody anymore. We want to resign from that post. Jam why? What happened, brother? No, no, nothing. We don't, don't want to serve anymore. Have you chased by anyone? Anyone beat you? So what is the cause of res resignation? They replied, Oh, at first we had one idea that you are supreme of all in this world. But, now we understood maybe someone is there, is more superior to you. We went in the material world to bring that Wicked person Ajamil. But four very effulgent and very powerful person came and chased us, chased away from there. And they told you are not qualified to take him from here to hell. So you don't want to serve anymore. Then Jam Maharaj. Who is Jam Maharaj? There is pure Mahajan in this world. Sayambhu, Narada, Sambhu, Kumaro, Kapilo, Manu. Pralada Ojanaka Bhisma Bolli Bayar Siki Bayam. Saman Twelve Mahajan. Jam Maharaj means personification of death, one of them. He told that, listen, I am giving some instruction where you will go and where you should, you should not go. Where you shall go? Jivana Bhakti Bhagavad Gunanamadhem. Chetasthana Smarati Krishna Charanara Bindam 
কৃষ্ণায়ন রমতি যে ছিল একাদপি তার আনে অব্দম অসত অকৃত বিষ্ণু কীর্তন হুস্টান নেভার আটার দ্য হোলি নেম অফ কৃষ্ণ হ্যান হু নেভার ডু প্রণাম অফ হরি গুরু এন্ড বৈষ্ণব হু নেভার মেরিটেড আপন কৃষ্ণ ইউ ক্যান ব্রিং দ্যাট উইকেড পার্সন ইউ ক্যান গো দেয়ার হু এভার চান্ট দ্য হোলি নেম অফ কৃষ্ণ ডোন্ট গো টু হিম হু এভার ডু প্রণাম টু হরি গুরু এন্ড বৈষ্ণব ডোন্ট গো টু হিম এভেন হু এভার মেরিটেড আপন কৃষ্ণ ডোন্ট গো টু হিম the soap name is so powerful special in this kali in this time of iron age of kali the religion of kali yuga is chant hari naam so you all should chant hari naam and to whom you meet we request them to chant hari naam and come in good association so you will ask them to come in your association gradually you will come in good association from there you come to gurudev in bona fide gurudev then your life will be successful and whom you help his life will be successful so which you have heard from gurudev we can pitch them up pitch to others then our life will be successful and all will be benefited by that so by this way we can attain the service of divine couple and we have not to suffer in this world anymore because we are suffering in this world by threefold miseries then we shall overcome from these three four miseries and we can surrender ourselves guna pad guru dev by his causeless mercy we attain the service of divine couple going beyond vaikuntha hare krishna bancha kalpataru bhasta kripa sindhu bhai vacha patitanam pavane bho jano jaja radha man hari ko jo kanu we should try to engage our all senses in krishna consciousness even our sleep sleepness do you know the skill how to engage our sleepness also in krishna consciousness Oh, we should be try to be very intelligent about this. Even sleepiness, even walking, even <coughs> taking prasad, everything should be for Krishna. Like gopis, they used to decorate their hairs. Oh, with so many ornaments and here and there. But why? Oh, they used to see the glass. I am mean, now looking very beautiful, and they used to be become very happy. Why? That Krishna will see and he will be satisfied. In this way, so we should try. <coughs> oh, we should not think that <coughs> always that we are never flesh. You are. We are lusty. We are. What? very wretched we cannot do any bhajan any kind of bhajan useless 
useless. Oh, don't think this. Always engage your mind, your tongue, your all senses. How to please my Guru Dev? How to please oh, qualified Vaishnava? And how to please Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu? And how to please Radha Krishna Kanchiva? If you want to please them, then you will have to please Rup Manjari. And if you want to please Rup Manjari, then what you will have to do? You will have to please Rupa Goswami. If you want to please Rupa Goswami, then come to <coughs> oh, Raghunath Das Goswami. Every tissue. How to please Rupa Goswami? Hmm? If they are not helping, then come to your Guru Dev. If Gurudev is powerful, realizing something and always pleasing his divine master, Gurudev, Vaishnava, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, his association, Radha Krishna, Kanjugali, his associates. Then he is very powerful. He can do, he, he can give inspiration. That even how we, we can engage our sleepness or all things in Krishna consciousness. This is our mission. And that is why we are sent by all Gurudev. So you must follow as we are telling. So be very strong. What is our mission and what we want to preach and how we want that all we should be happy forever. Transcendental happy. Hmm? Oh, Shamrani will speak two words about these things. Very expert scene. Don't try to sleep. Oma Gyanam Timiram Dasya Gyanam Jamasalak. Very good. Thank you. Tam Yena Tosmai Sri Guruvena. I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my divine Diksha Guru Nichilila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sri Sriman Shila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my divine Shiksha Guru Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sri Sriman Shila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. When Srila Gurudev was in Singapore, he told one very interesting Leela from Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, the story of Krishna and the coward boys when they went to Bandiravan forest for cow herding with countless innumerable unlimited cows and coward boys. And Krishna on that day was so absorbed in his playing with the boys that on this day, which was unusual for him, he became a little less attentive to the cows. Usually the cows' faces were directly facing Krishna and they were always straight in front of him. But this day they were a little behind. Then their minds also became a little distracted by some very sweet-looking fresh grasses beyond them. So they went some distance away and Krishna and the boys were so absorbed that they were not paying attention. At this point, Srila Gurudev said, Don't think that Krishna is an ordinary boy simply ignorant, absorbed in play, and not knowing what's going on. A part of a part of a part of a part, five times down of him, creates this entire material cosmos of unlimited universes. So he's acting, though, in his Naralila. The cows saw, and they went ahead, and then even further ahead, they saw more sweet-looking grasses and they ran quickly passing through all other grasses to get to this most sweet-looking grass. 
Now after some time, the boys noticed that the cows were missing, and they became very worried, thinking, these cows are our wealth. We definitely can't show our faces to our mothers and fathers without these cows. Then, without consulting Krishna at all, without telling him what they were planning to do, they independently, just as the cows were independent, and went looking for the grass, the boys also were independent and went looking for the cows. They could tell where the cows were going because of their footprints and because of the chewed grasses. They followed these two. In the meantime, they couldn't hear that the cows were wailing as if burning in a fire. Because if any of you have been to Vrindavan in the summer, you know that it's very, very hot, sometimes 150 degrees, just like the inside of an oven. And the sands are very, very hot, and the sun is very hot. So it was like this in Vrindavan that day where Krishna was, at least where the cows went. And they were wailing and crying in heat. By the time the boys reached the cows, it became so hot from the heat onto the dry grasses that a big blazing forest fire began. Like that, and the whole forest where they were went ablaze. And the boys and the cows were in the middle of it. Then, just a second before they were about to die from the fire, they called out, Krishna Balaram. And as soon as they called them, immediately Krishna and Balaram appeared there. And Krishna said, Don't worry, I'm here now. Just close your eyes right now. Why close their eyes? Because, as you remember, in Brahmanagat, Krishna once ate earth. And the boys complained. So Krishna is thinking, if the boys see me now eating fire, they'll definitely complain to my mother. Or, even if they don't do that, they'll die, thinking that I will die. So he said, simply close your eyes. A moment after they closed their eyes, immediately Krishna said, now open your eyes. Everything is done. Everything is fine. And the boys saw themselves where they originally were before they went and looked for the cows. And it was very cool. And the cows were sitting there and chewing their grasses. And everything was very fresh and cool and sweet. So what is the purport of this story? If we don't consult with Krishna, and we don't consult with Krishna's representative, Sri Gurudev, then, and we act independently, like the cows and the cowherd boys, then we end up in a blazing fire, the blazing fire of the burning God. That means death. Those for whom we sacrificed our Krishna consciousness, all our beloved family and friends, and girlfriends, and boyfriends, and children, and wealth, and comfort, everything for whom we've sacrificed our Krishna consciousness, they take our old finished body and throw it in the burning gut, in the burning fire, and finished, and then they try to forget us, because they don't want to be unhappy by remembering us. We try to save our money for our family, and what will our family do? Our sons and their descendants will take that money that we've saved and use that money for drinking and all kinds of sense gratification. So Gurudev said, instead, take that money that you're saving, which can't save you from old age, which can't save you from disease, and which can't save you from the burning fire of the burning God and use that money to invite devotees to your home, have regular kirtans, mornings and evenings, distributing prasad, taking prasad, and engaging in Krishna consciousness. What happened when the boys saw themselves back where they were before? 
they thought, what happened? Were we dreaming or what? Similarly, all the problems of life, and this life means problems, it's made of problems. This body is made of our past sins. Tatenu kampam shukshamishamanam. All of our troubles are due to our past lives, which make up this very body. Hrid vag vapu bir vidadan namaste. Whenever miseries come, and as Sripad uh, Madhav Maharaj stated, there's always the four miseries of birth, old age, disease, and death, the three miseries of the body and mind, other living entities, and material nature. There's the three miseries of anxiety for what I don't have, fear that what I have I'll lose, and then lamentation that I've lost it. All kinds of numbers in this material world. So all these, Hridvag Hridvag Vidubir Vapu Vir Vidadan Namaste We offer our obeisances to Krishna who is very mercifully giving us those miseries which are caused by our own activities to detach us from this world and to attach us to Him. No other reason. As Sri Padmadav Maharaj said, it's only because of forgetting Krishna that we have all these miseries. If my hand faces the light, it's in the light. If it faces away from the light, immediately it's in the darkness. So, by turning to Krishna and by turning to Guru, who both know everything, past, present and future, then all these unbearable and unsolvable problems, the more we think about which, the greater they become. Because whatever we think about, that's what comes. If we think about problems, that's what comes. If we think about Krishna, then he takes those problems and carries them on his own head. So, if we consult with Krishna and consult with Guru, then all those big unsolvable problems, up to death even, become just like a dream. When we wake up from a dream, it's like it never happened. And then we'll see, I've never actually come to this world. And we'll be with Krishna and always happy. Kaur Premanandi Hari. Have you made all call mm. casualties? Oh, I want to hear. Schedule. What's the schedule? From tomorrow. Have you discussed all these things to them? I told you. We were discussing it earlier. Um, we thought that Madhav Maharaj could come at 8 o'clock and give class, and then there would be breakfast after that and then Shamarani would be able to give class after breakfast and Gurudev will come in the evening at 5 o'clock. Yes. And then on... Um, Why not uh, like other places, uh, morning class, one should be done, either by Pundari Prabhu or Madhva Maharaj, but when it will be, you should try to point out, fixed, and then Shamarani or others. <coughs> Next class after breakfast. And then prasadam and everything, chanting, remembering. And about three, again any class should be done. Shamarani or others time, especially Shamarani. And others also can speak. Sometimes uh, Rajanath Prabhu also, sometimes he is very qualified, Radhana, he, he can speak. I heard that he was sometime but commander of Mayapur. Iskon Mayapur? Iskon Mayapur? Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii here. So he can also, and he should become qualified more, you should try to. Mm-hmm. And <coughs> after that I will come 
and have a great process after Kirtan Sun. Up to what time here? Now? Now it's 7 o'clock, but we can have class as late as we like. Uh, then when we should finish our class in morning, uh, evening? Well, you can speak as long as you like, Gurudev. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You want to see within? I don't know. No. I should go about 7.30 or... 7.30 I must finish anyhow. And then I should go. And you, after that you should do what? What you want to speak? Uh, I will call here by powers in... In my soul, I'm not Krishna, but I will call here because I feel some kind of enlightenment to you. I need to talk to you if that is possible. What is that? It's not because he comes here, he feels empowered, attracted by something within himself to Krishna. And he feels that he needs to speak with you. Yes, tomorrow we will speak. But just, tomorrow. just now? When? Paul, tonight, tomorrow, I need blessing tonight, then tomorrow I can reappear. What? But I need something tonight to talk. Yes, he may come. Well, when it's all finished, me and you need to talk. After everything is finished, he says he wants to talk with you. He should wait. Uh, so, I think that it would be better that we should finish our classes at 7.30. And after that I will go, you should make Arati, then Tursi Parikrama, and then uh, Prasadam. But in morning, every day, Arati should be done. No? And then Tursi Parikrama, and water, Water to Tulasi. Tulasi Parikrama. Hari Hare Nama Krishna Jadabai Nama Tiskirtan. Jai Radhe Jai Krishna Tiskirtan. And other Krishna. Tulasi Kirtan. And everything we should try to follow for three days, four days. So that after this in your family life, life also you can do like this. I want that when I will go. You should not be weak. You should try to preach. Try to do Nagar Sankirtan time to time. Hmm? And book distribution also. And be very strong to preach. Hmm? And thus you should continue. And again we will meet. Again we will inspire. Hmm? I became very happy hearing some news from India. Perhaps that Prabhu, what now? Rupa Manoha Prabhu given this message. That one very notorious Guru, not only Guru, himself Bhagwan, he tries to be called Bhagwan, Shai Baba, has been arrested by Indian government. Perhaps he is the biggest cheater in the whole world. Oh, from long since, 20 years, especially in eastern countries, Australia, Fiji, here and there, there are so many thousands and thousands of followers. They think, him, oh, himself, God. Hmm? Krishna is now God, not God. Ramchandra is not God. Gita and Bhagavat is nothing. Only he is supreme personality of Godhead, Sai Baba. Hmm? <laughs> Always I was making careful all others. Don't think like this. He is the biggest cheater. Hmm? He knows some tricks. He knows some magic like. And, and so many things. Now, oh, if I used to tell them, uh, I 
when I used to tell them that it is, he is bogus person and greatest cheater, or oh, some of them used to be very angry with me. But I never cared for them. Wherever I went, I told like this. Also, about so many gurus, like Brahma Kumari, like so many Nawa, I think if you तुम जब बीज में बीज देगा खेतों में तो उससे जितने पौधे उगेंगे उससे अधिक आजकल गुरु और भगवान पैदा हो रहे हैं ऑल्सो देर आर सो मेनी Oh, guru, false guru, hmm? bogus guru, and they pretend that I am guru. If not guru, then I am uh, Ritvika. You should follow. <laughs> Be careful from all bogus gurus hmm? and follow. Oh, those who are following the teachings of. वेदाज उपनिषद आज स्पेशली श्रीमद भागवतम एंड गीता दो आर नॉट प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओ गीता एंड भागवतम दे शुड बी रिजेक्टेड इवन ही इज गुरु इफ ए गुरु हिमसेल बींग एंड नॉट गिविंग प्रॉपर रेस्पेक्ट टू अदर वैष्णवाज नॉट चॉन्टिंग especially he does not remember our practices the months are powerful months are given by guru then what is this bogus thing we should reject that kind of truth if we are not uh, <coughs> such a such a or oh, high class of guru then be with any high class of devotees Though you are not taking initiation, but better to take again the re-initiation. So you should be very careful from this bogus guru now a day. So many kinds of. I've heard a guru also here in Hawaii Islands here and there, very powerful, thousands and thousands of disciples and followers, but what doing? Nothing. Not practicing, not following any teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mani sam kirtan. Surfing. Huh? He goes surfing. Yes, only that. So you should try to practice what Guru has told you. First, daily chant Hare Krishna with a relation of Krishna that Guru has given. First. If he, guru has not given, oh, try to be very sincere and fell on the feet of guru dev and tell that oh, please give me that process and that is the initiation, diksha. And thus follow all his teachings, especially Gita must be followed first. Gita makes. A platform for bhakti. In Gita, it has been told, "Sarva dharma na paritajya, ma me kam saranam braja, aham tuam sarva pape do moksha ishami ma sucha." Sarva dharma na paritajya. Or you should give up all kinds of dharma. What are now oh, going on in this world? These are not good things. Huh? We should try to give up all these dhams and adharms, even everything, and take shelter in the lotus feet of supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna. And then what will be? If anything wrong, oh Krishna will. Save you from all these things. If you are giving up your father, mother, 
your wife, your children, or no sin. But you should be first qualified and then give up. First, being in householder life, you should try to practice or detachment from worldly things. First, doing, you should do, go on doing your family jobs, but be detached, and you can do. And after t or after some time, when you are qualified to give up, oh, totally you should give up. Go on. Like, you know, <coughs> or Shiva Sacharya, Pandavas, and so many, the uh, devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh. All of them, uh, prior, almost. almost all, were family members. Rayaramanandino, you know, what he was? Family man. Advaita Acharya, family man. Shivas and so many. Rayaramananda, Bhavananda, so many there. In Krishna pastime house of Pandavas and so many gopis are themselves. All Brajavasi. All family person. But they were oh, most high in level of bhakti. Hmm? Nar uh, Krishna never went to the cottage of Nara, but he went to the cottage of royal palace, palace of Maharaj Yudhishthi. So you should try to follow. Hmm? More strongly, don't be so now it is seven half. From tomorrow, first I will speak about Guru Tattva. Guru Tattva is the backbone of bhakti. If anyone has no Guru Bhakti, no Nishtha, then he is useless. What are the symptoms of a bona fide Guru? We should try to know. And how we can serve him? by all senses, internally and outwardly, both ways. If we cannot do, then we cannot follow uh, the principles of God. Energy comes by serving Guru, who is the representative of oh, himself, Krishna or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And thus, you can be happy. So tomorrow, oh, you should do any kirtan, and we will finish, and after that I will go. And, uh, after that, Aarti will be done, Tursi Parikana will be done. So tomorrow, Madhav Maharaj, at about 8, he will come. Huh? Because he will have to give me medicines and everything. So time may be increased or Pundarik will come or Shamrani will, who will do? You should also try to manage all this. With Vindabhadri. 5.30 is good time. Sometimes you can sing it in Bengali too. Very good. May I give you a dhoti? <laughs> hmm? I, will, I will give you a dhoti, but, but my all dhoti... Safra! Very good. You like that he should be safran? Oh, but your stepmother will... Oh, we... <laughs> His son also is suffering. Ah, you, you have given already your son, represented. Very good. But Bhoti, when you are here, you should try to have Bhoti. If not, then we will give.
He will give you. Where is Nathpur? He is gone. Very good. Go on.